Hello everybody. So over the last week um, I took part in a free online course called Find Your Joy with Louise Fletcher and it's a great uh, week of experimentation and play with paint and it's a lead into the course that she does which is a 10 week course, Find Your Joy, brilliant course uh, that I actually took part in last year. But I did the taster again this year because I really felt the need to, to loosen up in my work. As most of you know that have been following me, I took part in a three month program called CVP, Creative Visionary Program. And, and subsequent to that, I felt I really did need to start playing with paint again and being very experimental. And so this, this week was perfect for me. So what I thought I'd do today is to share with you and talk you through uh, four of the uh, different exercises that uh, Louise uh, sets, some of which are kind of a little bit of an overlap with, with how I already work anyway, but um, I'll, I'll explain when I get to those. So um, the first exercise that I, I did was uh, taking just a limited palette uh, and I used uh, just black and white paint, black ink, and then I use Naples Yellow. I'm a bit of a fan of this, but I haven't used it for quite a while. So coming to use this again, and then mixing it with the black and the and the uh, white gives you these lovely kind of uh, buttery, uh, sandy colours, which is really nice. So anyway, I thought I'd just share with you what I did. So this was the first one, and I did two of these. And the only sort of parameters were to have fun, play and experiment, uh, and try different things. And when you like things, do more of them, and when you don't like things, cover them up. So that was the parameters. And I should just say that in, in my mind was the Moorlands. I live close to Moorlands and it will be the basis of a series of paintings that I'm going to start developing. So I had been out, out walking on the moors the previous day and then I subsequently did these. Um, and it's interesting because I actually used uh, some uh, collage that is covered up. I used in this one, I used black ink. Uh, it was acrylic ink and I didn't uh, use anything ink wise apart from that black and I scored into it, I used paint brushes, I sprayed the ink with water and you get these lovely uh, effects and I scribed into it uh, with stick ends. So that's the, the marks that you see there. Oh, and I used, I'll show you, I used a bamboo uh, pen as well. So that's what that is there. So that's the first one. And I'll come back to it, but I'll just show you the second one because I want to just highlight something I did with this one. So again, I used exactly the same colours, the, the black ink, um, the black paint, sorry, uh, the Naples yellow. But instead of using pure black ink this time, I used quink. And the nice thing about quink is that when you spray it, it just, the colours do separate out and you get some lovely sort of purpley blues and browns and so on. So it's not just sort of solid back black like the last one. Again, I used collage and this is maps of um, the uh, area that I was walking on the moors. I again used the bamboo bamboo pen I again sprayed it so some interesting differences but similarities as well to the other one so just to remind you that's the that's the other one uh, you don't get as you can see with the black ink here you don't get that same color separation as you do uh, with this one here so hopefully you can see that and I, I don't think I mentioned but I taped the edges so this is just in cartridge paper the next exercise was to tape um, the paper into quarters and or you could use sixes and I did that too but I'm going to show you the one with quarters uh, and to use again a limited uh, palette of black and white and a couple of other colours and make different marks and again make marks and enjoy the ones that you enjoy, do more of them. Try different things, be very experimental. If you don't like things, you can cover them up. So this was my attempt and I used two, I didn't use paint, well I did use paint, but I only used black and white paint. The actual color um, I used was inks and I used a green uh, ink, acrylic ink, and a turquoise acrylic ink. And hopefully you can see that's the turquoise, that's the green. And I used a variety of different tools. 
I use stamps, I use spent sequin waste, you can see those are the dotty effects there. I used bubble wrap, I used knitting needles, I used coloured pencil actually. And I am a big fan of the Inktense coloured pencils, so that's what I used. It's a tangerine orange. You can see I used text as well, which is again, you know, collage and, and stuck down. And then all the colours that you see are mixed with the, the base that I, I mentioned to you. And this nice dark was actually turquoise mixed with black ink. And so you get this sort of nice, really deep blue. Lots of scribing in, doing more of what I liked, less of what I didn't. Really enjoyed doing these and the breathable space was really important to me. I wanted to kind of create a, a spacious feeling as well as an a feeling of energy uh, and that was that was nice. I used one of those scrapers to get this sort of effect here and it's just really playing and exploring the different sorts of marks that you can make. So nothing finished, no finished paintings, that's not the point of these. Louise is really clear that you know in order to be able to loosen up and be free you need to stop thinking about finished pieces and so there's no way that these were even uh, you know, I was even trying to, to, to create finished pieces. And I did this exercise again using a larger um, big board and divided it into six. It wasn't as successful, but after I've done this video, you'll see I will share with you within it uh, the images from the other uh, things as well that I did. So then the next exercise, let me just explain. Actually, I'll explain it whilst I lift this off. So the next exercise is an interesting one because what you're asked to do is to, to think of a scene that you might normally uh, paint or you're interested in painting in the way you'd usually do it. But the idea is that you use different colours to what you would usually use and you use different mark making tools to what you would usually use. So let me explain. So let's start with the colour. So the colours that I used were very different to what I usually use, but I tried to keep it with, you know, essentially three primaries or as, as similar as a red, uh, a blue and a yellow, except for I didn't exactly do that, but that's the kind of effect. So I used a burnt sienna. I used uh, my lovely Naples yellow that I was talking about before. Uh, I didn't want to use black. Um, I used a white, but instead of using black, um, I used a raw umber. So these are really warm colours. That's a little bit cooler. And then I used a kind of a, an aqua green as well. So together with white. Now the mark making I used was as follows. Oh, and um, I also used a grey ink. And that's what that is. Um, but instead of using... The typical stuff I would use. I used twigs uh, to move the paint around and to make marks. I used a variety, I've just got one here to show you, but I used a variety of different palette knives. I don't usually use palette knives, but I use the palette knives um, not only to uh, spread the paint, but also to create the marks of the inks. And I really enjoyed doing that. And again, I sprayed. So that's what I did there. And this is just a red uh, oil pastel. So I was spreading it or spreading the paint with the different palettes. I was scratching into it. And the ink, what I did with the inks was I used a pipette. Um, I don't know if you see these plastic pipettes. I just use those pipettes. I don't usually use those pipettes. I usually will use a bamboo stick, but I didn't use didn't use the bamboo pen this time um, because I was wanting to do different things. So I kind of was interested in the colours. I really quite like this palette, and I'm going to explore what variety of colours I can create with it much more now. And that's the beauty of doing this play that you find things that you wouldn't find if you were being too strict with yourself. So this idea of freeing up and using different tools and using different colours, you find out an awful lot about what you like and what you don't like. And it's really the best way of doing it. And I found actually that I really did love create, uh, you know, the sorts of marks I could create using the, the palette knife. But what I found was that I wasn't creating the variety I wanted because I wasn't using brushes of any sort. I wanted to take away the brushes because I was using the palette knife and the pipettes and the sticks and so on. So that was that. 
really useful to uh, open up those doors around uh, the, as I say, the colours and the materials. So then I did another piece um, and this time you could use, you could add in additional colours if you wanted to. As it was, I kept with the same colours because I really liked them and the only thing I added was some additional blue to create a, sort of a more, in, more variety in the darks if you like. But I kept with the ink effects, I kept with the palette knife and then I brought in brushes. So the brushes I used were this sort of brush and I used a different, you know, different sizes. I've got some, some small ones and some big ones, uh, some flat ones and some round ones. So I, I, I had a variety of brushes in addition to using the palette knife, uh, but as I say, I kept with the colour. And I was really much, much more happy with this because I felt that the nice effects you can get with a palette knife look really nice against the contrast of the brush strokes. And I was using, as I said to you before, I was using the palette knife um, to create those effects. And I will show you in the images that I'll share afterwards, uh, you'll see uh, me actually creating these marks on their own before I've added the paint. And this time, I didn't much like the red uh, pencil. I thought that was too harsh. So I used my favorite tangerine um, color. Uh, pencil and was much more uh, loose with it and scribbly with it and I really enjoyed that and I liked that contrast with the other marks that I made and again I was scoring in um, using different tools I went back to my favorite knitting needle uh, which didn't appear in the other one because I was trying to keep away from usual tools um, and I was using that quite a lot to scribe in and uh, in addition I was using as I said those collected sticks and so on which was actually quite interesting to do. So, so that's, uh, that's, that was that exercise. And that was the third exercise that we did. And I now just want to talk to you about the last exercise that we did. And that's what's called a limitations exercise. Um, and with this, um, I'll share with you, I did it in a sketchbook, but I also did it on a big board that I divided up. And again, I'll share that afterwards. So this is great because it just gives you a focus because you're limited. Uh, you can use, uh, two pieces of collage, two pen marks, two uh, charcoal marks, basically a series of different things and you're using two of each. And that's what that one is. Um, and you can be quite loose with it. Again, um, I tapped into that palette because I really enjoyed it, added some additional things. Um, I used uh, the graphite stick here. Um, and I again, I used palette knife. Um, I also uh, used different sort of uh, ink pen here so anyway it was the the, um, uh, the the limitations exercise now I usually do this exercise quite regularly but this had even more variety to it so in some respects I found that I was getting a little bit too busy so I used some of my marks to kind of knock it back Anyway, hopefully you can see that this whole approach of experimentation and play is critical to the painting process. And I use it at the front end of all of my work. Um, but I also am playing, trying to play this game between intuition and thinking and play and being very exploratory and very experimental in the way that I'm making the marks. So um, hopefully you've, you've got some um, ideas on what you might do if you're interested uh, to, to play and I, can, I will continue uh, in my own way to do this, as I say, as part of my painting process but also in my sketchbooks. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.